This video will go through the basic troubleshooting of your Crystal Fire Plus manual safety valve burner system when you cannot get the sparker to spark. When depressing the sparker button on the control panel, you should get a spark on top of the burner between the tip of the igniter and the steel wind guard as shown here. If no spark exists, follow these instructions. First, do you hear a spark? If no, verify to make sure the battery is fresh and installed properly. To install the battery properly, take a fresh AAA battery and insert it into the sparker with the positive side facing out. When reinstalling the sparker cap, make certain the spring goes around the AAA battery as shown here and tighten the cap. If you still do not hear the sparker when depressing the button, you likely will have to replace your sparker. Order part number CF-Sparker at OutdoorRooms.com. If you hear the spark, but the spark is not present on the burner, follow these steps. Double check to make sure you cannot see the spark. It can be difficult to visually see, especially during daylight hours. The spark should be visible from the tip of the sparker to the housing of the wind guard as shown here. Make sure the sparker and ground wire are connected properly. The orange sparker wire and black ground wire should be connected to the back of the sparker box. The orientation of the wire connections on the back of the sparker does not matter. Just make sure both are connected. The other end of the orange sparker goes to the actual igniter on top of the burner, and the black ground wire should be affixed to the metal surface on the bottom side of the burner. Note: Make sure the female ends of the wires are tightly fitted to the male ends of the sparker box. Small gaps on each side of the sparker box connections, as shown here, make it possible to wedge the wire connector in place making it feel like it is actually connected when it's actually not. Retry the sparker. If you still hear the spark but do not see the spark, disconnect the wires from the sparker again. Depress the sparker and inspect the back side of the sparker box. You should be able to see the spark arcing between terminals on the back side of the sparker. If not, replace the sparker. If the spark was present on the back side of the sparker box, reattach the sparker and ground wire and inspect the connections and wires for any signs of damage. If insulation is stripped away from the wire, it may cause the sparker to spark in an unintended area instead of the top of the burner. Check for this and replace appropriate igniter or ground wire. If the black ground wire is not connected or loosely connected, you will still hear the spark, but the spark will not be present in the igniter area. Tighten the connection or order a new ground wire, part number CF-GroundWire at OutdoorRooms.com. If you have completed all the above steps, it is likely your igniter is damaged and in need of a replacement. Order part number VCSV-WG. A detailed video on installing the VCSV-WG can be found under the Product Support tab at OutdoorRooms.com. If these troubleshooting tips did not resolve the issues, contact your dealer or the Outdoor Great Room company at 866-303-4028. Check out the Product Support tab at OutdoorRooms.com for other helpful videos. Thank you for assuring our products are installed and serviced in a safe and professional manner.